This is an ultra buggy stonefly that is sure to catch you some fish. To tie it, we'll start off with a euro hook along with an oversized slotted bead. We'll secure a black thread to our hook shank, inserting some lead free wire into our bead to help secure it in place. Helicopter your excess free, laying down a thread base and wrapping back towards the back of our fly where we'll create a small build up of thread that'll help in our next step. And if you want to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. We'll then grab some black biots, snip two free, and secure them just in front of our thread buildup, which will help splay out our tails. Secure them tightly in place, wrapping forward, folding over our biots to use them to help build up some bulk. Secure them tightly in place, and snip the excess free. Secure your tag ends, and grab some vinyl ribbing. Here I'm using medium in the color black. Secure your ribbing just behind the bead, wrapping it back towards our tail, at which point we'll set it aside using our thread to build up a slight transition. Doing so by wrapping up towards the head of the fly before doubling back on your thread till you almost reach your starting point, at which point you'll reverse the direction back up towards the head of the fly. Doing this as many or as few times as you like to build up the body that you're looking for. We'll then wrap towards the back of the fly and grab some black hairs here. Create a dubbing noodle and wrap this forward in close touching spirals, continuing our transition up towards the bead. Continue to add or tighten the dubbing as needed. With this complete, we'll brush it out to give it a nice buggy look before grabbing our vinyl wire and wrapping it in close touching spirals allowing some of our hairs here to show through to help give it some character. Once we reach our thread, we'll secure it in place, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind before snipping the excess free. We'll then grab some flash. Here I'm using lateral scale, securing it to the top of our fly, wrapping back towards the start of our D-rib, followed by some thin skin. We'll secure our thin skin in place once again on top of our fly, we'll then create a dubbing loop and smooth out the head section of our fly to provide a flat surface for our following steps. With this complete, we'll grab some black CDC, inserting it into our dubbing loop along with some of our black hairs here, spin it up, and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals, brushing it back between each wrap and doing so until we reach our thread, at which point we'll secure and snip the excess free. Follow it up with a small dubbing noodle of black hairs ear to help push our CDC back and give it a brush back look before brushing everything out to give it a nice buggy look. Fold over your thin skin, secure it tightly in place, followed by our flash. Secure them both tightly at the head of the fly, securing both in front as well as behind before closely snipping them free. We'll then grab some UV resin, painting it over our thread and whip finish to hold it all together. Snip your thread free, grabbing some more UV resin and painting over the back of our fly. This will help give it some shine as well as add some durability to our pattern. Fix in place with the UV light. And this is a CDC stonefly that I love to use as a dropper to get my point flies down extremely quickly. In addition to getting your point fly in front of fish, this small stonefly offers a great profile and an extremely buggy look. If you'd like to stock up your fly box for the coming spring season, you can visit my website listed below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.